Hello friends and fellow collectors, thanks for joining me for another edition of Diecast Emporium. We have so much to cover in this video, so let's just get straight into it. In today's video, we're going to be going over one of each of the four 187 or HO scale semi-tractors with low boy trailers featuring cat machines. Uh, this idea or concept has been around for the last 15 years or so. Many of you who have been around a while may recall that Norscott did something very similar to this. So it's nice to have these back. And we'll get into a little bit more of what that means here momentarily. So there are four different sets in this assortment. The back of the box, I'll just get this out of the way now. The back of the box shows five. This set, at the time of this video's publication, is not being offered as part of the assortment. So there are only four to look out for and collect. So the first one is a blue Cat CT660, which is great to see a CT660 being offered in 187 scale. Uh, you guys probably will recall, or some of you may recall, that the, what was it, CT681 was offered in a dump truck uh, and a cement mixer, and is still offered, in fact, in the Highline series, so it's nice to see the CT660. And this set has a 315C excavator. All of the low boy trailers, regardless of the set you get, they're all the exact same tooling. All right, next up, we have the Peterbilt 579 Ultra Loft. I think that paint job looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if the light is doing that justice. Hopefully it is. Uh, but don't worry. Again, we're going to open up one of each of these here in just a couple minutes so you get a chance to see them up close. And this set features the Cat D5M Bulldozer. Moving right along. Here's our other CT660. This one in traditional Cat Black and Yellow. And this has the 163H grader, motor grader. And the last set also has another excavator. But instead of the 315, this is the 320D, and the tractor is a Kenworth T880. To be more specific, I think it's a T880S. It is. So, anyway, there is a brief overview of the packaging style. If you're wondering how you would open one of these, you've got to flip it over on the bottom. You see this little flap here? You literally pull that back, and it will expose the bottom part of this. You open up the box and you take the model out. They are twist tied, as you can very clearly see, so you will have to undo some twist ties, but once you have done that, your models are free, fully assembled, and ready to be displayed. All right, so we begin with the Kenworth T880 set. Uh, as you can see, the truck is actually a... Let's take it out so you can see a closer look at it. So the cab of these, in case you may be wondering, the cabs are metal. You can hear that. The chassis is plastic, the wheels are plastic, and the detail pieces, such as the tanks and exhaust, those are also plastic. Uh, there is no steering, obviously, it's 187 scale, so it's very small. But the, the detail work, particularly on the decals, you can see the Kenworth badge there, is really quite impressive. The headlights are painted on, they're not clear insert pieces, but at least the windshield is a clear win, uh, insert piece. All of these also have a headache rack on the back, which is this diamond-plated accessory and there's the fifth wheel so it's pretty uh it's pretty generic so it should fit any trailer that you have in 187 scale speaking of here's the kingpin on the low boy trailer again the the low boy trailer itself is almost entirely plastic but i do love the simulated wood grain finishing on the top and equally i do like the fact that the fender wells cover the all three axles i think that looks good again the back of the trailer has the cat logo on the mud flaps and some DOT striping and painted lights. So to show you how it hooks on, it literally just drops, the kingpin just drops into the fifth wheel. And there you go. The connection is good enough where it will stay connected. All right, as for the 320 that comes with this set, the tracks are stationary and they are plastic. Again, these are a mass market items, so they're not going to have the functionality and detail of some of the more expensive models. That's pretty obvious to most people uh, but there you go it will rotate 360 degrees and the boom and stick has some movement but the bucket does not curl in or out again overall considering what these sets are priced at i believe you get a lot for them and it's just it's excellent value all the way around so that is the kenworth set we'll move him out of the way we'll bring in our first ct660 this is the blue one and this set comes with the the 315c so we'll start with the piece of equipment same thing 
Tracks are plastic and stationary, boom and stick movement, but no bucket curl and 360 degree rotation. Here's the bottom of the tooling if you want to see what those look like with the DM logo. There you go. Again, we won't go into too much detail with the trailers because you've already seen one and they are all the same. But what you probably would be most interested in is the variety of tractors. So here is the blue CT660. I really like this paint job on here. Looks particularly striking under the lights and in person. And there's the front with the cat logo. Again, it bears repeating that these are mass market items. But quite honestly, for what they are offered at price-wise, I think most, almost universally, people will appreciate these and love these. And if there are any um, 3D printers out there, designers out there, a good idea might be some side view mirrors to aftermarket put on these trucks. All right. We got two down, two more. Here we have the, the Pete 579 Ultraloft, Peterbilt, sleeper cab. And this has the, the D5M dozer. So there's the bottom. No vertical uh, blade lifting, but it will go to the side. So that's the D5M. Back of it, side of it, front. And top-down view. Let's take a look at the, the Pete 579 now. Again, for those that might be interested in the chassis of these, I know there are a few because you might want to disassemble these. Here's how they are assembled. Pretty straightforward. And here's the, the 579. That grill looks really, really good. And the side. And the back. All right, three down, one to go. And our final set will be the yellow CAT CT660 cab with the CAT 163H motor grader. So the motor grader does have articulated steering across the joint. Front axle is fixed. And you can move the circle and blade all around. That is a plastic piece. The body of the machine, for the most part, is a die-cast metal component. And the decals, again, are quite quite nicely done up to and including the vh plus logo underneath the the glass window here's the base and the front and the right hand side again for those that want one more quick look at the low boy trailer here you go the deck extensions these pieces here they are fixed in the out position perfect for a uh, a wide load particularly a tracked vehicle and then here's the CT660 cab in standard cat yellow. Headache rack. Other side. And the front. So there you go. That is all four of the Diecast Masters Low Boy sets in 187 scale. Uh, I, I've said it at least twice during this video. This will be the third time. Uh, but these sets are excellent value for the money. Um, and you really can do a lot with these models when you're starting out. And they make great entry points for customs as well. I can't wait to see what the community does with these and how well received they are. Let me know what you think of these sets down in the comments section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.